Mafia Music Network. Offering underground, pop, and esoteric cinema. Discover more at MovieAndMusicNetwork.com. Alex is a cargo thief working for a drunk cartel. Sam is a paramedic with a troubled past. I know you're scared, but I need you. I need you to be a hero. The two strangers find their worlds collide in a mysterious and unusual way in The Frame. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm here with Kevin, and we're going to talk about The Frame. We've both just seen it. Kevin, what did you think of The Frame? The Frame. The Frame. Um, the Frame. Filmmaker Jameen Winans, this is his third feature. Is it? Um, I yes, it, was it is. Second. Nope, third. Um, oh, okay. He did another indie. They're all indie. He is kind of a master of releasing them under the radar. Um, his last film, Inc., was a huge cult success. It's like a big cult film right now. He made it for no money. Um, like 250 grand. Yeah, and, and he goes out. It, yeah, like, yeah, he goes um, outside yeah. the studio system. For and sure. Yeah, he did. I, all like he had tour. He let people torrent it, yeah. and then you can buy the Blu-ray or you can watch it online. It's an interesting distribution method. I'll give yeah. him that. And he did the same thing with the frame. The frame is actually now something you can order on their website. Um, he doesn't go through the traditional system, but it's something that I wanted to kind of I wanted us to review because I really think he's a pretty brilliant filmmaker. I mean, his movies are challenging, and the frame is challenging. It's not. You know, it's not cut and dry. He won't even explain it. He's like, it's up to you to kind of figure out what you think it's about. Hello? Hello? You're right. I mean, it's not cut and dry at all. I saw uh, Ink and I saw The Frame. Um, Ink, I really like the idea of Ink. I thought it was it had a very interesting concept, and The Frame has a, a very interesting concept as well. It very slowly gets doled out to you as the movie goes on, so you don't really know what's going on yeah. until maybe like 20 or 25 minutes into the movie. Yeah. Um, it seems like a regular, like a crime movie or something. Yeah. And then suddenly there's a little preternatural element that comes in. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, and so it unfolds in a way that is unexpected. It doesn't hold the audience's hand, like you were saying. I honestly think that it could stand to hold the audience's hand a little bit more. I mean, I, I like that he allows you to interpret the film in whatever way that you want to, but... Had I well, had I known that the you know before watching it, maybe I would have interpreted it a little differently. But I didn't really get what I was supposed to take away from it when the movie was over because it was so open to interpretation. What I find interesting about it, though, is that even if you don't know specifically like the details or the facts of this is what he's trying to say, I feel like his movies. In fact, same thing with Ink. You actually. His movies, you kind of get the emotion you feel out of it. So at the end of the movie, if you don't even totally understand it, you got the emotional component of it because there was that moment at the end, for example. So you're kind of understanding like what he went through and where he came out at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Performances were fine. You know, Christopher Soren Kelly plays three roles in this movie. He was in the previous film, Inc., played he two plays roles. Four, too. He's played now, four? now that I think about it, he plays multiple. Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Everybody in the film is serviceable. I know they're I hate good. to say that, but they're they're fine. They're not bad. They're not revelatory. They don't take you out of the film as yeah. far as like it's an indie movie and they're not so good. Like David Carranza plays the lead, the, the main lead, and I actually really liked him. I I I grew more to really care about his character as the movie went along. Um, Tiffany Mualem plays the other character that he kind of plays off of, and I thought she was good. Um, I think, that, I think the, the thing that I most appreciated about it is that I, you know, a lot of times when you see indie movies, somebody's not good and it takes you out yeah, of it. Yeah, they, like, oh. they were all good enough. But they were good enough. They, they were good enough to where I was emotionally invested in the story, but not where I was just like, oh my God, this, these are breakout stars, right. you know? But I think, I think his filmmaking is really the breakout mm -hmm. in here. Thank you. 
these are the types of movies that back in like the 90s people were raving about and now you have to seek them out. I mean, he's like David Cronenberg or, um, you know, David Lynch. Those are the, the, it's those types of movies that used to get praised, but now nobody makes these movies anymore. Yeah. And, and he is, and I, well, that's what I like about it. I appreciate the fact that he's telling his story in an unconventional way, mm -hmm. very visually, I mm -hmm. would say. I mean, because the, the script is solid in the the world building and all that stuff, but there is, really isn't a ton of dialogue, and that's fine. I mean, yeah. he tells the story well through the images, but I, I just, when the movie ended, I was like, okay, I don't know what the point was to it. It was cool, and I think he told well, the story the point. well. The point was all about boxes that we put ourselves in because of our pasts, and we allow our past to write our future, and yeah. it was trying to get out of doing that so that we can write our own story rather than have something else controlling us. I don't know if it's the kind of movie that everybody, that's gonna have wide appeal, that every it, audience is like. If people like challenging like. movies, they'll like it. Sure. For sure. And yeah, it's not for everybody, but I, I kind of want people to go see this. I want the people to see Ink and can then judge for themselves. The Frame is a solid film from a talented up and coming director that should be seen, but it's a little difficult to navigate through the story sometimes, so I'm gonna say stream it. Lennon's films may not be for everyone, but they are the work of a gifted and exciting new filmmaker, so I say see it. All right, that's one and a half tickets, and that's the see it for the frame. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Move out of the frame. <laughs>